Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're taking a look at Monster Infinite, which has been pumping heavily over the past couple of days. And we're going to talk about why and why this still has a hell of a lot of way to go in the future. This game isn't even out. Imagine what this will be at when the game releases. So the reason why I think there's been an increase in price is because of awareness. This the, the team behind Monster Infinite have a hugely aggressive marketing campaign that, you know, is pushing out to content creators like myself and getting them the awareness built around, around this game. This game is going to be accessible for a lot of people. It's going to be a low entry cost, which is exactly what people are wanting at the moment because you have games that are like $450 entry price and people can't play it. So you only get a few people playing it and, and that's not good for this, the, 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 you know, the, the longevity of a game in the long run. So what Monster Infinite do as they're setting a game which has a very low entry cost, the estimated to be around, I have a little sneak peek word, of between 30 to $45 is gonna get you a full team of monsters. So you need three in total. And the original plan was for it to cost 80 money for every single egg. Now at this current rate, you would be looking at that 450 plus dollars entry price so they've made some adjustments because their main thing is that they want as many people as possible to be in on this because it will make the game better and right now i think what's going on the reason why there's this pump going on is they've got an aggressive marketing campaign in two ways that they've they've really encouraged people to join the community one is the discord event that is going on so if you didn't see it i there's currently an event going on where they're giving out 25,000 money, which at the current price is around about almost $100,000 worth of money. Now, there's a competition and we're part of it. So the more people you get involved in the Discord community, invite them to it, the, the more the more of that percentage of 225,000 money you will get currently we're looking, we're looking all right. We're looking pretty good. We're not all the way there. You know, we're not up the top. So we're, I think we're on like 168 last time that I saw. Now we're currently still in seventh place, 193 ads. Now we need to get that up. If you're watching this video and you have a Discord, just join the link in the description below. That's all you have to do because of that prize pool, you will have I'm giving it all away. Whatever I earn on my channel through that invite link, I'm giving it all away. So if you've got a Discord channel, go to it. Go to that invite link. If you've got a Discord account, go to that link down in the description. Join it via that link and stay in the group. If you leave, it doesn't count as an entry. Because if we can creep up here, we'll get a bigger percentage of that pot. And you know, if there's a thousand people watching this, set yourself up a Discord account just to get involved. I will only be giving the reward route out to people who join the Discord, by the way. I'll make sure that each person who wins is a member of the Monster Infinite Discord group as well. So if you do want to be a part of that prize, when we're giving it, currently even if we're only like 1% of the total entries, we're still looking at 250 money to give away, which is $750. So, and it could be well more if we get this up, if we get up to like the first place. If we got up to a thousand, I think we'd be talking maybe 10%, which would be 2,500 money, seven and a half grand to give away on the channel. Join it. Um, That's one reason why I think they've got an aggressive marketing campaign that is contributing to the price, but they are also contacting ambassadors like myself and they're they've got a pre-marketing campaign going on where they've really specified and broken down now i really like this being an ambassador i like it when they're giving us content to be able to create and, and updates they really assist us in our job but they've broken some of the reasons why down down why they think it will pump even further and i want to go through it with you guys so you're informed so the circulating supply of money will reduce drastically during marketplace launches, users will use money to exchange for STT, which is their secondary currency, um, in order to buy monster or spend on the marketplace. Hence, more money will be going into money STT liquidity pool, which leads to a lower circulating supply. For example, circulating supply is approximately 7 million. Money token price is about 
$2, um, well it's now it's about $4, uh, so that was at the time of releasing this, which makes Monster Infinite's market cap approximately $14 million. Assume that 50% of money's circulated supply has been reduced, money is added to the staking treasury, and money's price should be above $4 to meet the valuation of Monster Infinite. Assuming a Chrono Zero monster is selling for $100 with the money price of $2, every Chrono monster will, con will cost 50 money. Assuming a total of 140,000 Chrono Zero monsters are up for sale, 47,000 players buy only one team of three Chrono Zero monsters. The circulated supply of money is already wiped out. The purchasing monster requires money in exchange for STT. And assuming a Soul Bond monster sells for $15, 200,000 players who purchase one team are capable of wiping out half a mini, half a, half of money circulated supply. So that reduction in, in supply is going to lead to a huge increase in demand, and that's why one reason why money will likely pump. Also, if you compare this project to other NFT projects, you can see just where, just how far this still has to go. So it has a market cap of 34 million, assuming the money price is at $2.40, which is where it started. Um, well, at the beginning of this campaign, we've got Polychain Monsters, Pimon, which uh, it's a big project, big big project has big ambitions going forward. That's 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 they're on the same level of where well, Money Monster Infinite has now overtaken that. My Neighborhood Alice, which is a huge huge um, game on the Binance, has a Binance listing. That's 5.68x from where Monster Infinite when it was at 2.4. Alien Worlds, one of the biggest game on the Wax Network, probably the biggest game, um, 6.2x. To reach their market cap and then we start talking about the big big games decentraland yield guild games axie infinity axie infinity is an 8.4 billion market cap if money was to get there it's it's not even out yet it's still got so much room to pump if you want looking for a long-term hold then money is a good one to go for as you can see from Monster Infinite, the potential growth in these economic structures on hand, such as tokenomics, financial mechanism, and in-game economy, the market cap is only 34 million, which is relatively low and undervalued for an NFT game project. This is the token distribution of the pre-sale, um, and the tokens are very well distributed. They won't result in token dumping. So this is a really good fact. If, if you had like 25% held by one person, you would have the problem of that. All it takes is that one person to dump and that will wipe 25% off the price. Um, and also it's nice to say it's held by many people, which if we're all holding a little bit, there's more incentives for us to hold because each of those people will need to hold it so that they can purchase some monsters. STT is their, is their currency in-game. That will be utilized on all spending in Monster Infinite, hence the circulating supply of money will be reduced consistently as STT can only be obtained by exchanging money. There will be more money placed into his staking treasury and staking rewards will be higher for stakers. So there's incentives to stake it and hold it. Um, the token generation event from the private sale, we've got one week, so 23rd of September, um, we had that was the one week where there was token distribution two weeks with the 30th September month of 16th of October that's where public sale tokens get distributed um, and from the IDO get distributed so around that time so in six days hold but people might sell off you do sometimes see that where a token gets released and at IDO and then when the tokens finally get released and paid out people sell off at a profit to make some returns so yes that might happen on the 16th of October but long term down the line I think it will recover and boost past four dollars where it's at the moment why will the monster why will the price of a monster nft appreciate so this is if you manage to get a inception monster or purchase an egg when they come out and become available the monster nft has a tremendous price appreciation potential which is because each monster has a low clone count and with the highest cloning cost close to doubling the cost from the previous one as compared to the breed count and cost to axie 
double layer sibling ban is also there, which means people are gonna there'll be there'll be a demand to purchase um, other people's monsters so that you don't have to because you can't you know breed a sibling with another sibling, and you're gonna be encouraged not to keep you know holding onto the same monster and cloning and cloning and cloning because it's going to cost you more and more. Eventually, it'll get to a point where it's no longer worth cloning that monster NFT, and therefore you're going to need to purchase another one with a low clone count. Double layer sibling ban, the difficulty of cloning is increased. Augmentation, monster core is required in augmentation. In order to obtain that, a monster has to be sacrificed. So there's going to be the, a reduction of the a system where you're going to be able to like burn an NFT and therefore you're not going to have a huge supply of them. The return of interest will be lucrative as the monster prices are starting low and the price of STT is stable. So the STT price is so stable because of the overwhelming demand for it, for purchasing monster using NFT, augmentation requires STT, cloning requires STT, monster trading will incur tax in STT, there'll be cosmetic spending, open world crafting, and there is a PvE gameplay feature where players can revive their monster if their monster died during the battle. If there are any questions about how to afford a monster when the price appreciates, you may tell your audience that they can, <laughs> I can tell you now, that you can purchase a Soul Bond monster to play the game. Soul Bond monster is a type of normal monster that has a starting cloning count of 2 out of 4 and is non-transferable and non-tradable. There's also the monster chain advantage. So Monster Infinite have gone ahead and built their own side chain. This is huge, it's called the monster chain and this makes big difference. If you build your side chain, you know, the benefits are users can bridge money tokens from the Binance Smart Chain to, into Money ST liquidity pool on the Monster Chain. Money Monster Wallet will be built on the Monster Chain, so they have their own wallet as well. A two-factor authentication will be implemented in future to protect your assets. By having its own side chain, Monster Infinite will expose be exposed to an extremely huge player base, and it's multi-chain compatible. Not only limited to Binance Smart Chain, it can be integrated with other blockchains like Solana, Polygon, etc. It could be that other games might want to use this chain. It's already built. Um, Monster Infinite dev team has fulfilled their promise on countless occasions. They've never breached their promise. They have made each normal monster accessible for ten to fifteen dollars. As I said. They're going to try and get it the price entry price about 40 30 to 45 dollars so that everyone can play monster infinite the monster dev team has fulfilled the vision of universal basic income make monster infinite a game that is affordable for everyone the low entry cost will result in a tremendous growth for the player base other players of the high cost entry games will join monster infinite as it's still early to join conventional gamers will also give, give it a try since the cost of joining is lower than a steam game and then we also have the Monster Infinite Diamond Hand event. So this is still ongoing. Uh, be a money holder now with a minimum of 10 money in your wallet and you'll get a chance to win an Inception Monster, one of only 4,088 that there will be in the world. Diamond Hand Mechanics equals the raffle based on your wallet address, not participant. And this may encourage people to open more wallets to store more than just 10 money in each wallet to increase your chances of winning. So it means more more wallets holding it um potentially so there's a huge huge ton of incentives that are going on that i think is why we're seeing a pump in the price and you know these are things that some some developers they just they don't pay attention to and it, it really it just causes them to miss out on the opinion on the you know the potential for people to hold the token and to get some rewards out of it. If you don't give people rewards, incentives to hold tokens, they're just gonna sell it for something else when they need to, to purchase an NFTs in another game. So, it's now listed on Gate.io, Ascendex, PancakeSwap, there's charts like Dex Tools and PooCoin, I use PooCoin. Um, the contract address is as below. They've, I'll, in, I'll include all the social media down below. For the Discord, of course, I will add our invite link so that we can boost a percentage of the uh, the, the twenty five thousand money giveaway that is happening. Um, and there's loads of other information going on, which I wanted to update you on. Is they've released regular articles on on Medium pretty much every single day. So we have uh, the exchange mechanism is going to work like this. So the Binance Smart Chain, you bridge your money to the Monster Chain. 
Money will be placed in Money STT Exchange in Monster Chain. Players can get STT by paying money and will not be able to, to sell STT for money. Let's, let's just increase this. Um, will not be able to sell it for money within the Monster Chain Exchange. Only Master Shed has the right to buy money with STT. Um, STT will be used for buying cloning monsters uh, and in other app will have other in-game usage. Collect, uh, collected STT from monster sale will be, will be going into Master Chef smart contract. Master Chef will be uh, will sell STT into money to replenish STT supply in the pool. Money will be retrieved by putting into staking treasury. Money staking will be available on September the 16th, 2022. So that's the exchange mechanism and they'll be implementing the bridge and then we'll have the advantage of the stt money pool is that it'll give back to the community so more players means more demands for monsters more demands on stt more money exchanges into stt which puts more money into the staking treasury more staking rewards for money therefore more incentivized to do it higher value for money more benefits for holders more money holders in total with more people staking for these rewards and higher value of prize for players which incentivize more players so you know hopefully not a vicious circle but the opposite um which means that the more increase in benefits will incentivize more people to hold money um, and you can read a bit more detail on that in that article there if you want to we have obviously the month money infinite which is the giveaway of 25,000 money um stt bridging they realized there was a mistake in it um they wanted to clarify that stt tokens can be bridged out into the main net when a liquidity pool on balance smart chain has been deployed before the alpha testing which is expected mid-november the reason behind the fact that we would not allow stt bridging until the alpha testing is to avoid speculating activity on launch rest assured they will open the stt tokens to bridge out onto the main net when a liquidity pool on binance smart chain has been launched placed before alpha testing currently expected to be around mid-november 2021 some more details on that if you want to check that out and then finally we have the the marketplace and a why it's going to be a slow release so the main kind of points the reasons why they're releasing the marketplace gradually is that um it, for some places it's going to be a learning curve and therefore it's going to take some time to, to be able to get used to it system stability obviously if lots of people are using the marketplace um to begin with it might be overwhelming for them so if they gradually release it they're going to make sure that they can take control of it manage any bugs along the way benefits all the community members in the long run so they realize that there's a dilemma amongst the community regarding the latest marketplace feature being released gradually although out of ordinary we are certain that this measure would be in the best interest of not only the overall project of monster infinite but the best interest of the community as well the marketplace is not a single feature instead it's a platform containing a series of features from registering your monster wallet to bridging money onto distinct um into monster chain and so on if we went with the scenario of releasing all of the distinct features at the same time and date there'd be a major possibility that the majority of players would miss out on all the wonderful features and sale events taking the selling off of normal monsters for example there will be a learning curve for utilizing the variable features on the marketplace so imagine a scenario where on that same day players would require to go through and get used to the several steps in the marketplace before placing any purchase from registering their personal monster wallet to bridging their money to swapping money for stt and finally using the stt for to for any transactions at the same time there'll be players already at the end phase purchasing monsters thus reducing the number of monsters on sale or probably being sold out so they had the goal in mind that they wanted to ensure that all users would get equal opportunity and they just go into detailing exactly why um a few other points of why they are going to do that i do think that it's 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 probably in the best interest in the long run i do agree i think that getting used to all these different things of transferring stt monster chain bridging um you know you want to focus on one thing at a time and then also i just think down the line if you're going to build a stable marketplace release it gradually so that you don't end up if you get a bug on a marketplace take for example wanaka farm okay wanaka farm released their marketplace to the masses all at once and then 
they had this bug where people's unopened packs were displayed on the marketplace as unopened packs. So, I mean, I've, I've, I've fell victim to this. I bought two packs thinking I'm gonna open some land and it, I've still got the chance that it could be more than common, uncommon, immortal even. And I, lo and behold, I bought these packs and when that they were, were put into my assets, they were already opened. One was already opened and one I couldn't open because it said this pack has already been opened. That bug meant that I wasted a fair bit of money. We're talking about $3,000 on purchasing two things which did, weren't valued at $3,000. They were worth less. And, you know, I'm still chasing that up. They still haven't dealt with that. So this is why Marketplace being featured gradually is, is going to potentially prevent bad experiences like that that overwhelm the the developers as well and affect the roadmap and the progression of it so a slow one means that if there are any mistakes any bugs that they can just you know deal with that select few people who have used the market and then once there's every everything stable you move on to developing that feature so have your own thoughts on that but that's that's mine also there's been some official information on twitter which i think is really important so the monster cloning info only four clone counts for each monster max double layer sibling ban will be implemented and stt will be needed for cloning the clone cost of stt will be almost doubled up for every cloning process per monster now these are the chances of mutations we've got 37.5 percent of the dominant gene uh, being expressed the recessive one allele would be 9.375% and then recessive type 2 is the rarest one 3.125% for each parent a total of 100% newly cloned monster will be developed now there will be a chance of mutations occurring so a total of 12 genes for R1 and R2 there's a 0%, zero there's a 25 percent chance that you'll get no mutations one that there will be 37 uh, for one mutation it will be set 37 percent two mutations 23 percent three mutations eight and then going lowering to two percent to 0 0.3 so if you get six mutations that's a 0 0.049 percent chance so even if you're looking at your pet and they don't have some of the traits that you might want there's still that opportunity to breed them together and get mutations which might be more beneficial for the uh the the, the monster that you you hatch um dates we've got official date users will be able to hatch your inception monsters on the 18th of october so not long now eight days until we get to do that and there we see it one day ago Money was ranking number one on Dex Hot Pairs list. So hence the pump. It's been it's getting out there, increasing awareness. And I still think it's got a little bit of way to go. I think in the next five days, I think we might see another 25% increase on that $4 price. Um, but let me know your thoughts down below. Okay, that is all for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That is all for me. See you guys soon.